Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hut. It's Sunday, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why the chair has been styled in such a way. Let's sort that out. Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hearts. I'm Neil, and you want to you want to back up your Twitter account, don't you? That might be why you've clicked on this video. I'm going to show you everything step by step. How do you back up your entire Twitter account? How do you back up your tweets? Maybe even maybe even your retweets, your likes, and even your photos. I'm going to do this right now in real time so that you can follow along. My son has just got a victory royale on Fortnite. <laughs> okay, will do. I've put all the time codes in the description so you can jump ahead if you just want to see the backup now. I've seen a few very high profile cases of people losing their jobs for things that they've written like 10 years ago. Bad attempts at humour, bad attempts at self-expression. I can't help thinking that I don't stand by anything that I've ever written anywhere, least of all on Twitter. So I don't need that stuff on Twitter. I don't need Twitter making money from bad attempts at humour in the past. So here is how I delete 5,000 tweets. Oh, Joe, seriously, what's up? Make the intro shorter. So welcome to Inside the Happy Huts. Let's go straight to my Twitter dashboard. And on desktop, where we want to go is on the left hand side here. We want to go down to more, and then I'm going to click on settings and privacy, or privacy, wherever you are in the world, hello. And right under settings, which is this column here, the very first option is your account. And the third option down is download and archive of your data. Get insights into the type of information stored for your account. So I'll click on that. Now I need to verify that it's me. I can't handle all of these accounts. <laughs> Everything I'm doing online right now needs to be deleted. And then it reveals this page, Twitter data. You can request a zip file with an archive of your account's information, account history. Request archive, let's click on that. We received your request. To protect your account, it can take 24 hours or longer for your data to be ready. I should think so. After 11 years, I think it probably shouldn't be ready instantly. I didn't realize it could be up to 24 hours, so <laughs> let's do a time jump. That <laughs> stylish visual effect. Let's do it again. There's been a passing of time. It's now a day later and I got this email. Your Twitter archive is ready for you to download. So I'm going to hit the download button. We'll see what happens. And that takes me straight into Twitter, straight into the settings, Twitter data. Your archive is ready for you to download and view using your desktop browser. Keep in mind, you need to download this data before it expires. So we'll hit download archive. Twitter data one of one. I'll hit download archive and it saves as a zip file. Now while that is downloading, I actually did some work last night deleting all the tweets that I wanted to delete. There are services available for you to delete tweets in bulk. I couldn't wait. I just started deleting them. So here's how to manually bulk delete. That's not really bulk deleting, is it? It's just deleting a lot of tweets. Here's the process. What if you want to search all of your tweets within a specific time period? Go to the advanced search. I'll put a link in the description. Maybe it's on screen now. And that will open up this box, advanced search. And if I scroll down, you can see all the options you can fill in here from these accounts. And then I'm going to choose my account, at Neil Mossy and then say I want to check out all the tweets from 2019. So I'd select January the 1st, 2019 to December the 31st, 2019. And then if I click on search at the top of that box, it opens up all the tweets which contain the phrase or the account at Neil Mossy. Confusingly, it's ordered them by top priority. So I'm going to choose the latest and that will present all of my tweets in reverse chronological order. So if I wanted to delete these tweets manually, I'm going to keep that top one because I like it. If you click on the three dots, I'm going to start deleting here. So delete, delete, and then delete. And I'm using my return key to hit delete when that delete tweet window comes up. 
I've just found this way to do it ever so slightly more quickly. If you hover your mouse over the three dots and hit more, just hit return on your keyboard, that brings up this dialog. Do you want it to delete? And you can hit return again. So I'm doing mouse click, return, return, and you can start to delete them at about this speed. I hope that helps you bulk delete your tweets manually. And the, the advantage of this system is you get to see your years fly by your eyes. And you can also choose to not delete any ones that leap out, which spark joy. But all of these are going to go. Let's go back now to the Twitter backup and see what exactly we get in the download. I'll just scroll through the folder marked data so you can see the kind of files that we've got in here, like Moments Media, what's that? I'm gonna open Tweets Media just to see what's here. And let's open up one of these randomly. Right, so this is a, a picture that I tweeted about 10 years ago. <laughs> and are they in order? Yeah, they seem to be in order. <laughs> it's Darth Vader uh, wrapped up like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> See, these are the things that I, I do not need in my life. And what's funny is that it includes photos that I have retweeted over the years, as well as my own photos. I don't know, how do you feel about that with privacy? If I open profile media, this is my profile picture. Whoa, this is my profile picture. All your profile pictures have their own folder. Yeah, these, there's the happy hearts. These are my current profile photos. And if I open the random file profile.js, it, it brings up pretty much the wording of my Twitter profile. It's got my lists and my likes. These are all my likes that I have ever given in my entire history on Twitter. <gasps> wow, it's, it's a lot of data. Let's go back to this big file here, yourarchive.html, and it's opened up an HTML page, which is a pretty much an overview of my data. As this information is not all the data from your archive, please open this folder. The file here labeled tweets.js seems to be an HTML file. An HTML file is a file that you can see in a web browser. And this seems to have all my tweets. Even though I've been deleting them, the archive seemed to have grabbed my tweets, even though I, I was deleting it while the archive was being prepared. And it's obviously quite difficult to read but you can still see the text of your tweets in here, just to sort of translate the text. This is a tweet here from last year, 2020. You can see that there. And this was my tweet to BBC News because I was on BBC News a year ago. <laughs> they were putting on a face mask that I built myself. So I tweeted them, brilliant piece, thank you, especially that guy with the ears great stuff. So all my tweets seem to be here, but if you want to protect your tweets, I don't recommend deleting your tweets while the archive is being prepared. Wait till you've downloaded the whole file and then start your deleting frenzy. If this video is helping you, why not help others to find this video by clicking the thumbs up button? And thanks for being even more awesome if you hit the subscribe button. And right here is another video about how I make videos here on YouTube.